From Judaism to Jesus Christ, Part 8, Baptism into the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, by Nancy Goldberg Hilton. We've been called upon to repent and be baptized. We have received instruction through modern prophets who now have the authority and power of God on the earth to perform a valid baptism and give us the gift of the Holy Ghost that will last beyond death. From this first step, we can begin that special journey that will lead us back to the presence of our God. I knew that I wanted to be baptized. I understood that this ordinance asked me to make a covenant with God, to take upon me the name of Jesus Christ, always remember Him and keep His commandments. If I would do that, I would always have His Spirit to be with me. My life before baptism was not without blemish, but I now had a new chance to start fresh and be forgiven of my sins. What a great and everlasting blessing! My heart and mind had to be right before the Lord, for He knew me so well He could read my thoughts and the intents of my heart. If I were to partake of the cleansing power of our Lord through baptism, then I had to be completely truthful about my life. Repentance is not done in a day or a moment, but is a continuing process of forsaking our sins, changing our lives, seeking forgiveness from our Lord through His atoning sacrifice, and contacting those we have hurt and making amends. It is not just words, but action. It requires our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. On May 30th, 1996, I was baptized into the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I was also confirmed a member of the Church and received the gift of the Holy Ghost by the laying on of hands by a Melchizedek priesthood holder who had the authority of God. I remember the words that coursed through my mind at that moment. I am home. I knew that this was true.